Students, welcome to the 7.2a reteach and retest video. In this video, we're going to talk real quick about sets and subsets and hopefully just reteach you. A set is a group of common things. And so one thing we all have in common is that we're all students. Okay, we're all students. That's a, something we have in common with each other. But if I wanted to describe who we are in this program, we'd have to get a little more specific. And so I can say, hey, well, we're part of middle schools. And that's what a subset is. A subset is a group of common things, a smaller group of common things. And so I can go from students to saying, yo, we're all middle school students. But more specifically, our program, we're sixth graders. And we're sixth graders who love math. You see how we're getting more specific? We have more specific subsets. But if I really wanted to describe us, I'd say, hey, we're part of the SWAM program, the Advanced Mathematics Summer Program, or the Step Up to Advanced Mathematics Summer Program. And that would more specifically describe us. And so that's what a set and a subset are what sets and subsets are. They're groups of common things, but a subset is a smaller group of common things. So let's keep that in mind as we approach this math problem now, because we have to keep um, correctly organize our numbers. So this problem right here, it asks us, or it tells us the Venn diagram shows the relationship of the rational numbers. So we see rational numbers, that would be our general set, right? That all these numbers have in common is that they're a set. Then we have a subset of integers, another subset of whole numbers, and an even more specific subset of natural numbers, which are just groups of smaller numbers, right? That's what a subset is. So this is a subset of whole numbers, which is a subset of integers, which is a subset of the larger set, rational numbers. Which of the following is an integer, but not a whole number? So that means we have rational numbers, we get down to integers. It's an integer, but it's not a whole number. Okay, so that smaller set of whole numbers, this number would not fit into that smaller subset. So which of the following is four a whole number? Hmm, well, let's start with the beginning. Rational numbers, can it be written as a fraction? Yes, okay, so it's rational. Integer, it's an integer, but is it a whole number? Yes, so we're looking for one that is not a whole number. Negative eight, can negative eight be a whole number? I don't think so, because whole numbers weren't can't be negative, but let's just make sure. 28 over seven simplifies to four, and so once again, we already did four, we know four is a whole number, and then 100 is also a whole number. And I suspect that we could get even more specific, but that's not what the problem's asking us. It wants to know which one is an integer, but not a whole number. Well, the only one that possibly fits that criteria is B, negative eight, because negative eight cannot be a whole number. It is an integer, but it is not a whole number. Therefore, our correct answer has to be B.